Here, let me let me test my Ukrainian really quick. Uh, uh looking for uh, Kukor Black. Is that back here? Uh, what is this? It's a restaurant. It's what? a restaurant. It's a restaurant. Can you what? show address? Where is it? Uh, yes, right here. Ah, oh, it's here. It's here. I think there's so many positive outcomes that one can experience from going abroad to visit other cultures. For me, one of those positive things has been gaining a new perspective of my own culture that I was raised in, as well as being enriched by experiencing what it's like to be in a different country and culture. When I decided to go visit Ukraine, I wasn't sure what to expect and ended up being pleasantly surprised. Last August, when my lease ended, and I initially decided to travel, I couldn't wait to put all my things in storage and begin my new adventure. I was feeling that it may be a good time to try something new, and I felt inspired to leave the relative safety and comfort of my hometown. For so many years, I had wanted to visit Europe, but it was never practical. Finally, it became doable. I arrived in Lviv, Ukraine late last year. I remember flying in late, catching my first ever international Uber ride, and then meeting my Airbnb host, Galna. After a long flight, I was tired and maybe a bit scattered, but excited. The next day, I basically slept due to jet lag. But the day after that, my second full day in Ukraine, the exploration began. My experience with the locals in Ukraine was overall good. Most of the general population that I was able to communicate with were nice once the initial ice was broken. And those who I became closer friends with in Ukraine were amazing. And I'm grateful that I've been able to associate with them. Not being able to speak or understand Ukrainian very well did make it a little hard to connect deeply with people in general. So I would definitely recommend learning Ukrainian and or Russian if you were to visit there. Not that you have to become a master of those languages. I would say it's just good to at least become proficient with the basics. Hello, uh, I'm here to, do you speak English? Yeah, sure. I'm here to stick, pick up a burger for Jason, Beyond Burger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Okay, thank you so much. Yo, bye. One thing I noticed in Ukraine, with some exceptions, is that there wasn't as much of the above and beyond customer service that you might get here in the United States. Which isn't to say that Ukrainian customer service didn't do their best to help. It just seemed to me that the customer service culture over there, and perhaps the culture over there in general, is a little more straight to the point, with less of the pleasantries and fluff. Here are some of the places I visited and would definitely visit again. One would be the Lviv Opera House beautiful building inside and out, a great place to see top-notch professional quality performances and very affordable tickets. Two would be the Mantra House in Lviv. If you're anything like me and you're interested in meditation, this spot is a must visit. I felt so very welcome there and remember the atmosphere being very kind and warm. It's a very relaxing place to be and it's run by such a great community of people. Three would be Lviv High Castle. Hiking to the top of Lviv High Castle was such a nice experience. The top of High Castle is the highest point in the city of Lviv and provides a great view of the city skyline. Would definitely recommend going there. Here are a few of the restaurants I visited, all of which I would definitely visit again. One would be Greens. Overall, the vibe there is just really nice. The decorations and the setup is really nice. They have a lot of healthy food options and they're very reasonably priced. Two would be Om Nom Nom. Like Greens, this is a great restaurant if you're a vegetarian or vegan. The vibe is just really warm and friendly there, and the staff were all really friendly and cool. The interior decor added a nice touch and made for a nice ambiance. The prices were quite reasonable as well, and the food quality was great. Also, there was an Indian restaurant I ended up frequenting called Lotus. I initially went there with some of my friends, and the food was really good. So I ended up going back multiple times. And then of course there's just a lot of beautiful architecture to see, a lot of beautiful churches, and just a different vibe that I think makes for a unique experience if you've never been outside of the United States. Lviv is said to be the closest thing you can get to a classic central, maybe even Western European city in Ukraine. Let's talk a little bit about cost. At the time I was in Ukraine due to the exchange rate, one US dollar was equal to about 26 Ukrainian hryvna. Right now, at the time that I'm making this video, 
it is actually increased to $1 equaling about 28 hryvnia. This helps to illustrate how living expenses in Ukraine are very inexpensive if you have American dollars. For example, it cost about $20 per night to stay in a very nice and cozy studio apartment via Airbnb. Here in California, the cost of an Airbnb of the same quality and maybe even slightly less quality is three to five times more expensive, just to put things into perspective. And this was basically the same for groceries and the cost of just about everything else in Ukraine. Just about everything is on average about three to five times cheaper there compared to California. Of course, there were some exceptions, but not many. So in terms of price and affordability, Ukraine is without a doubt a fantastic location to visit. And now for the million dollar question, is it safe to visit Ukraine at this very moment in time? I felt like because of what's going on currently that I should at least mention this. Now there seems to be a bit of a disconnect between what the mainstream media is saying versus what my friends in Ukraine are actually experiencing. As of right now, virtually every Ukrainian friend that I have talked to about this seems to be very unworried about the situation and say that things are still pretty normal over there. So I'm not sure exactly what to believe. If I had no choice but to go back to Ukraine at this very moment in time, I would say Lviv and Western Ukraine in general would probably be the best part of Ukraine to be in because it's about as far away as you can get in Ukraine from what is apparently the main conflict zone on the southeastern Ukraine-Russia border. That being said, I won't pretend to know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen yet. Hopefully nothing serious. And all that being said, I'd say it's probably better to be safe than sorry. And to be honest, I wouldn't go over to Ukraine right now unless there was some reason I absolutely needed to be over there. Overall, visiting Ukraine was a great life experience. Most importantly, the great souls I was able to meet and associate with while I was in Ukraine is what made this trip truly special and meaningful. And if any of you in Ukraine are watching this, much love to you guys. I hope you guys stay safe and well. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jason, and I hope you got some value from this video. If you like this video, consider clicking the like button as that makes it more likely that YouTube will show this video to more people who might be interested in the video. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you guys in the next video.